Hey, and welcome to this week's topic of just one more topic. See, this is why I don't normally do the intros. It's normally this guy who you don't see. Yeah, yeah, he's not here. So just me, just Aborius. So hopefully I'll be able to speak better than the rest of that for the rest of this, and I'm not even doing it even remotely close right now. We're in that really fun time of year where it's right after E3, it's before the fall, and guess what? There's nothing new happening and no real news about the most entertaining thing I've seen. Uh, big surprise, Xbox reversed yet another policy. Uh, they were going to allow Xbox Ones to be developer kits, and no, no, they're not. That doesn't matter. They're, they're not going to let it happen. Uh, so big surprise there. Uh, Microsoft doesn't want other people cracking their stuff, who I'm sure plenty of people already have anyway, so what's it really matter? Uh, Grim Fandango. It's not just going to be on the PS3 and PS4. It's going to come to PC, Mac, and Linux, because woot. Gaming on Linux. Yeah. So see, and that, that's kind of where we get to. We like to take these droughts, and we, we get to playing... Not so much new games coming out or anything like that, but it's about playing with people. I mean, Tridracius, Meatloaf, and I in particular have been going to town on Payday 2 and the new DLC out for that, which if you haven't checked it out, you know, if you're on the PS3, you know, you get, or whatever really, you know, light machine guns. Uh, they added Sam Fisher. Sam. They call him Cloakers. I don't care what they call him. It's Sam Fisher, and he will destroy you. You finally get to feel like a bad guy in a Splinter Cell game. Seriously, the hell with that guy. He just we, just, we see him and we're like, abandon the mission. Give up all hope, ye he enter, you who enter here, or whatever. He, he's really scary. Uh, so we've been going to town on that. It's been a lot of fun grinding through that and just kind of toying around and playing around. Uh, we had an incredible night of smiting. Yes, smiting. With uh, Smite, uh, all of us, just five of us, just going nonstop. In fact, inspired us and made us laugh hard enough that we are probably going to start streaming. Uh, fair warning, it will probably be very, very, very M-rated for really immature people. Yeah. Uh, and other big things than that, uh, where'd even start? Uncharted's probably going to get a PS4 HD remaster, which, you know what? I like a lot of this stuff. I really do. I love the fact that they remastered Shadow of the Colossus. They remastered Metal Gear Solid and Silent Hill. But Uncharted, really? Is that in need of a giant HD remaster? It came out in 2007? Yes. It's a PS3 game. The game looks phenomenal. I played it again the other day. It looks awesome. Are we really in need of the HD remaster time of games from HD? It since is not being made to me. There's so much wealth of other good stuff that they have out there. Let's dig into the PS1. Let's remaster some PS1 games. I mean, you remaster Final Fantasy 7 or 8, people are going to go nuts. Uh, the Panzer Dragoon? Anybody? Anybody. Seriously. Or Legend of Dragoon. Whichever. I don't have my Sony guy, once again here to back me up with remembering stuff so why is I, I yes to make money okay that stupid question i know the answer but still just stop it uh and yeah other than that we have just been getting stoked and prepared for august 9th at pj gamers we are hosting ovge the oklahoma video game exhibition we've talked about it we talked about it last year i cannot tell you how cool this event is and how excited and just frothing at the mouth i am to host it at pj gamers these kind of events are normally held in ballrooms and convention centers and things like that we're actually holding it in the game store true true now we are retrofitting the entire store to allow for the space but I mean, just the, the price of admission, uh, the, the wares you're going to get from vendors because they got table prices cheaper, uh, the parking, the, the atmosphere, it's already there. We're not having to make some sterile room feel like it's a gaming hall. We're making a gaming hall, a gaming exhibition. It's going to be awesome. And if you live in the area or even if you don't, you need to come out Saturday, August 9th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. There's going to be so much cool stuff. The the history of gaming laid bare, some great artwork, the tournaments and trivia and prizes, and oh my, it's going to be sick. Uh, so yeah, light news week. And uh, we'll be back next week, hopefully with something 
Hopefully with something. I'm really going to leave it at that. But uh, for this has been just one more topic. I am trying... See, again, this is this is why I don't do this. This is just one more topic. I am Taborius. This guy, who's not here, this is Tridracius. Say hi. See, he's so much more polite like this, don't you think? Nope, 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 okay. Anyway, see you all next time.